Okay everyone, welcome back to The Long Dark. Yes, you join us for Wintermute Episode 1 Part 2 and we are almost where we left off. Yes, there has been a little bit of a mishap. It didn't save um, our exact progress. It's done a save slightly before we finish the end of the last video. So there's a few things I'm going to have to repeat, unfortunately. And one of those is making a fire, which is rather amusing given that we already have one. Um, but it hasn't actually saved the fact that we have one, so I'm going to have to make another one. Um, so let's just light another fire. Oops. It's also not saved any of my crafting or any of that stuff that I did. So I need to recraft those tinder plugs. And I need to remake a fire. So we'll start it with a stick with matches, all that good stuff. So we'll... Restart the fire, that'll trigger this one, then we'll have to sleep through the night again, and I think that then roughly gets us back to where we were. Anymore. That's embarrassing, it didn't work. I thought at this point in the game we'd be pretty much guaranteed of it working. Okay, let's try that again. So yeah, unfortunately it didn't quite save properly, so this time I'm going to make sure it's done a save, or I might do a manual save, because I think in story mode you can do manual saves, so... I might do a manual save before we... Uh, before we depart this time, I don't feel so good. Got it. I need to rest up. Okay, well, before we do that, let's add a bit of fuel. So I'm going to add a couple of bits of reclaimed wood, and I'm going to—I'm uh, going to leave it at that. Actually, we'll add a couple of bits of reclaimed wood. Fire sorted. So let's jump into the bed. Then it'll do the sleep overnight. It'll heal our injuries again. Obviously, we've already healed once. And hearing them again. Oh, we have a hypothermia risk. Ask your hands to come forward. looking for me. Which means she can't come looking for me. Okay, she's so hurt. Or worse. Okay, so I we are now back, back up to the crash site. We are now back exactly where we were. However, I don't want to rush out of the ravine simply because I don't know where I'm gonna find a bed. I may not find a bedroll or anything like that. This is the only bed I have. I have no bedroll, as you can see. Um, this is the only bed I've got access to, so I want to get my condition up before I go anywhere. I don't want to risk uh, losing that, so I'm going to relight my burnt-out campfire. Why do I not have a tinder... Oh, because I used both tinder plugs, didn't I? Let's craft another another pair of tinder plugs. Yeah, I don't want to get up to the ravine and find that I can't sleep, because if I can't sleep, I can't build my condition back up, so... I don't want to risk that happening. We're not in a brilliant... We're not in a really bad situation, but we're not in a great one either. So, matches, tinder plug, stick, fire. Let's get a fire going. We need to make some water. We have a recycled can, we can do that. So we're going to make some water, and we're going to gather what fire materials we can from around here, make a bigger fire, and we're going to sleep a little bit more, get our condition back up as close to the top as I can get it, then we'll head out of the ravine. Turned out pretty well. Excellent. So let's add a piece of cedar and let's add some sticks. And I'm fairly sure there's plenty of sticks out there. So let's do again the water. Hello. Thank you. I actually preferred the, the way of doing this before the update where you had to place it on there and then use it. But never mind. Maybe that only applies to this mode, not to normal survival mode. We'll find out when we... Get back into survival mode post update. Oh, cardboard box. That's going to give us some tinder. I'm not going to risk it though. Time accelerator. I'm going to lose what I'm uh, cooking away behind me. We've got some birch bark for tinder. We've got some sticks. They break down into tinder if you really need it as well. Um, we've got some reclaimed wood. We have a hypothermia risk out here. We've got some newspapers and cloth. Matches, newsprint, and a soda, which is good. I think this is. Pretty much exactly the same loot that we found when we did this first time round. So obviously we've done this already before it lost the save. So um, we've already kind of done this. So I'm going to pop back over here and just see if there's anything worth gathering over here. Obviously we can't do much with that deer carcass at the moment. Anything else? Well, yeah, we've got a bit of... See the firewood, and that's about it over here. Yeah, we can't do much with so this deer carcass, unfortunately. Cold. So, let's get ourselves back over to the other side. We don't have much food. Well, we don't have any food, in all honesty. All we have is that soda. That's the only 
calorie value that we have. So I'm going to leave that as late as I can before I drink it. And I'll do some more sleeping, but I want to get out of the cold, get back behind here again, and sort out some water. So we're doing okay fuel-wise. I think I'm only going to use this just to... You need to eat soon. Yeah, I know. That may well be when we get up to the plane, because I think that's the next bit. That, that, I mean, we did have that supply thing that we brought with us that we picked up in the hangar, so that may hopefully be up there for us to find. With some food and water in it, so I'm not going to... It's a bit of a risk, though, because I don't know. I'm assuming it's going to be up there. It's a bit of a risk not. But then there's not very much food around here anyway, so... I think as long as we've got a bit of water, that'll probably do us, and we just need to try and build our condition up. Get ourselves up out of hypothermia risk. Again, this is the only bed that I'm aware of, unless there is one up at the plane. I want to make sure that I've got enough condition to quite happily make it. As far as I potentially may need to go, I honestly don't know. I don't want to hang around too long in the open either. If there's no shelter or anything like that. Okay, we're we pretty much there. We are. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more fuel to this fire. So that's, I'm going to, yeah, two hour fire. Let's bung a bit of reclaimed wood on there as well, just to give us enough time to grab that before we do a two hour sleep. There we go. So if we are going to drink that straight off the bat. It's not going to be enough to completely hydrate us. We're going to pick up the can. We don't want to lose that. And then we're going to drink that soda, which will obviously give us some calories and complete our hydration. There we go. And then we're going to sleep for two hours, which will hopefully just give us a bit more condition. And in all honesty, given how much food we've got, I think that's probably as far as we're going to get. We're not really going to be able to do much more. Okay, let's take a... Shall we take a torch? No, because we're going to probably have to drop it as soon as we come up here. Okay, it's heading into darkness now, which is not ideal. Let me just double check. Our objective is to climb out of the ravine, so that's what we're going to do. We're in okay shape at the moment, so I'm going to head up here as quick as I can in the hope that we either find some shelter up at the plane. Ah, uh, Facebook. Go away, Facebook. Thank you. Deary me, Windows 10 is supposed to suppress notifications when you're playing a full screen application and it doesn't do it. Okay, so, first part of the ravine. Into a pain-killing tea, because I never remember. So rose hips are pain-killing. Ratio mushroom is antibiotic. Okay, let's climb. Again. I have zero resources and zero anything, so I'm not hanging about. I'm hoping that when we get round the corner to where I think the plane is... I think oh, I'm going to make it. Let's not bother with too many of those. Um, I'm hoping we'll find some stuff up there. So I am grabbing all of these. Oh, it's just done a save. I am grabbing what I can be bothered to grab, but I'm not wasting time either. Now it's probably not a bad time to be out travelling actually, it tends to be a little bit warmer at this Finally point. Finally made it. it. Okay, so we're out of the ravine. Uh, we're not going that way. We're going this way. Bits of plane. Ooh, and a headwind slowing us down. Bit of plane. Oh, this looks like the grand reveal. Yeah, there we are. There's the plane. My plane. Not sure which of us looks worse. Poor girl. This isn't how things were supposed to end. Search for Astrid. Look for clues. Okay. Let's grab some resources then. Oh, there's our... For you. Awesome. This is our Parker, our jacket. So let's pop that straight on. That gives us slightly better warmth bonus. Uh, oh, back. let's have a look. Bit of food, some mittens, and some penicillin. Well, let's get those mittens on. 
Again, we want to do everything we can to increase our warmth bonus. We want to take Astrid's hard case. Oh, oh, right in front of us. Looks like we've got some supplies. Hmm. Locked. Whatever's in this case, Astrid was ready to die for it. I hope she hasn't already died for it. Okay, there we go. I couldn't move that. Uh, right, let's grab lots of sticks then. Because we don't know what kind of firewood we've got access to. Oh, this is awesome. Lots of food, some water purification tablets, and some water. So that's good. Nice little stash. So we're looking for clues. Cloth. That looks climbable. Ooh, my ears have just popped. That's uncomfortable. Okay. Uh, let's grab... Some more of those and I'm just gonna eat one of those energy bars just to stop my calories dropping off the floor I really can't afford my condition to drop at the moment at all because I don't know oh yes that is climbable that was a bit she I kind of passed through here oh there we go did a hurry yep so we are going the right way I was a bit kind of thinking is that right uh... okay I'm not gonna really I think we found all the nice goodies I don't want to go all the way back over there just in case we miss something the other way this is clearly the direction we're supposed to be heading in. Let's grab the old man's beard. Okay, let's head down. Well, there's a world-famous gnarly tree, as I like to call them. So I'm going to assume it's this way we need to go. Stick. Head down. Bit of a river. I did see something about sprinting, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to... Okay, we've got some rabbits, we've got some stones. Find the quick small stones to throw at rabbits to stun them. I don't think that's that's just telling me, that's just some information. I don't think I need to do it. So, I don't think I need to do it. Nope. So, we don't need to worry. I'm not going to bother with that right now. There ain't going to be very much I can do with it anyway. Uh, there's a little archway made by a tree. So, ooh, And there's a little bit of floating... Cloth, lots of sticks. Pick up as many of these as we can. A bit more cloth, so we're going this way. Pick up all the sticks we can find. Keep coming this way. Astrid, where did you go? She went this way. Oh, awesome! Wolf! Okay, well, I have a feeling with this one. Hello, bunny. Oh. <laughs> Push the bunny into the wolf. I think avoidance is going to be our best policy on this one. Oh, is that a wolf? I better keep my distance. Yep, good advice there. I've said this time and time again: the long dock is not a first-person shooter. It is a measured, paced survival game. So, tackling wolves and enemies head-on is not the way to do it. Oh, radio tower! Surprised Will hasn't commented on that, actually. Never been so hungry in my life. Whoa. There we go. Looks like some kind of radio tower. I must be closer to civilization than I thought. Okay, well, whether we'll find anything there, I don't know, but let's see. Uh, oh, climbable. Let's climb down. So I'm conscious of my temperature. I think we've made a good move in. <sighs> in coming out at kind of sunset. Um, doesn't look like it's that way. Is that a cave? Sometimes I can't quite tell. No, I don't think it is. Okay, we'll go this way then. Oh, cattails. We'll grab a couple of them. I'm kind of a little bit torn between my desire to go and harvest as much as possible and my desire not to kind of linger too long and kind of get a shift on so as not to risk my condition knowing that I don't have a bedroll, I can't sleep, I can't get my condition back up any higher so I need to keep moving oops, signpost so I think we're probably going the right way, oh yeah, radio tower that away that's where we want to go, I assume there's probably just a dead end down there oh yeah, there's radio tower 
Okay, we'll just do a bit of an investigation of this. Hopefully there's a building at the bottom of it, but if this is the, the mountain town, the Milton radio tower, I don't think there is. No, there isn't. Okay. Well, we can probably walk. Have a look under it. Around it. Great, a town. Maybe I can find help there. Is that a town? Oh yes, ah, there's Milton, yes. Awesome. Scenic view, dead dude. Whoa. Someone's just sitting here, frozen. What the hell? Painkillers. Feather. Not good. So it looks like we're actually approaching Milton a completely different way. To the way we did it before. Is this climbable? Yeah. Completely different way to the way we did it before. I'm also curious as to whether you can get to the plane area in, uh, survi in survival mode. Because that would be quite cool if you could do that. Yeah, we are. We're coming into this from a completely different direction. So in Winter Mute initially, you came in down a road and you had to go to a church and all sorts of things I'm pretty sure but now we're, we're pretty much making a head feel thick making a beeline for luck the house. smoke from that chimney that means someone's home investigate the house now we all know this is the gray mother's house but it is our salvation and we've just about managed to avoid a hypothermia Hello? Anyone out there? It's not looking promising. Another dead dude. What that was a bit here? brutal. That looks a bit brutal. A bit more brutal than we used to seeing this in whole the whole area. Though. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Or it could be a wolf, I suppose. Wolf attack. There is smoke. Oh, ooh, okay. Following a blood trail into the Grey Mother's house. That's slightly concerning. Pretty sure that wasn't there before. Ooh, proper cutscene. Hello? Anybody here? Yes. Hey. Hey, wake up. <laughs> Holy shit! Wait! Hold your fire! Get back. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. Why are you here? I saw the smoke from your chimney. Outsider. Uh, what? <laughs> Thought so. Mainlander. Outsider. I don't recognize your voice, and you haven't left like the others. So, must be a mainlander. Someone who doesn't know any better. My plane, I, I crashed in the mountains nearby. I'm looking for someone who crashed with me. A friend. She might be injured. I haven't seen her. Listen. Could you maybe point that gun someplace else? You think? Because my eyes are covered, I can't see you. Make the wrong move, say the wrong thing. You'll see how good a shot I am. I don't doubt it. Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking. How fun. If you're here. Things must be worse than they thought. Okay, so this is very, very different. I'm gonna go for town. Where are we? No, a forgotten town deep in the mountains. You're far from home. But, 
to... Where are we on Great Bear? My plane came down in a storm, and my compass was acting funny. I've lived here all my life. Not much use for the outside world. Milton's the last of the old mountain towns. Now, it's almost impossible to get to. Or get out of. Only people left here are either too poor or too proud to leave. Which are you? I have what I need. At least I did before the bad man came. Now I'm not sure I have enough to get through the winter. I need to find my friend, but I'll do what I can to help. My mind is fuzzy. Some things come through so sharp, others. Like a dream. Let me think. Let me rest. Maybe I can pull some memories out of the fog. Maybe I can find something that could help you find your friend. Name's Mackenzie, by the way. And you are? I had a name once. But for years, the townsfolk have called me Grey Mother. A name takes on its own life. Such that at one point, the name becomes the thing it belongs to. Then the old names fade. Can only be remembered by the young and the true. So, I should call you... You should call me Grey Mother also. I'm conscious that gun is highlighted blue, which I assume means something slightly different, but we're going to give it a try. Sitting here with a rifle in your hands. Are you expecting trouble? Trouble? <laughs> trouble found me. You mean the storm? The bad men. The bad men came. Took my things. Tried to take my house. They thought they were safe. Because Grey Mother can't see. <laughs> they were wrong. Who are the bad men? The men. They, they passed through town. The night of the storm. The night of the light. I'm looking for my friend. She crashed with me when my plane came down in the mountains. Do you think she could have come through and been caught by these bad men? I can't say for sure. Is your friend a survivor? I... Yes. She is. Then there is always hope. Bad men. Did they try to hurt you? Everyone thinks being old means you're weak. But they underestimated Grey Mother. It seems they did. Okay. Well, any idea how I can get out of this town? I need to find help. The old quake closed down most of the roads in and out of town. That was years ago. Blizzard just swept through town after the power went out. As for help, you won't find any out there. You're on your own. We both are. I crashed without much food or gear myself. And if these bad men clean you out, we're gonna need to find some food and fuel, or neither of us is gonna make it through the next few days. You 
have any idea where we could find some supplies? The bad man took everything. And the others in town who would have helped me are gone. The ones left will have their own worries. It's up to you, outsider. I'll do what I can, but I'll need your help. There must be somewhere in town to get food, fuel, the essentials. What about your friend? Aren't you in a hurry to find her? Yes, I am. And I'll be looking for signs of her. But there's a lot of ground to cover. And without gear, I won't make it. So while I'm looking for supplies, do see what you can remember about the Night of the Lights, and if she might have passed through town. That way, maybe we can help each other. Okay, outsider. Grey Mother can't promise she can unlock the secrets in the dark cupboards of her mind. But she'll try. Okay, so... We have cleared a fair chunk of that. I'm going to come out of that dialogue for now. We need to find some supplies. Uh, check the gas station for more supplies. Okay, so we've got two objectives. Uh, we actually can bring up a map now. Oh, there we are. We've got a full map of Milton. So, we have the church, which is where we actually came in previously. We haven't this time. We've got the Grey Mother. Fill Grey Brother's firewood bin. Check the gas station for supplies. So, there's the two things that we have to do. So... That is what we are going to start with in the next video. We are going to go hunting around, see what we can find. But right now, I want to try and build up my condition as much as I can before we go anywhere. Uh, let's have a quick a nosy horse. around. I do feel a little bit, uh, but I need... Yes, we have a bed and I believe we can use it. Yeah. Perfect, because it is the middle of the night uh, as it stands at the moment. It is the middle of the night. So let's eat a little bit of food. That's fairly low condition, so we'll get that out of the way first. And let's drink some water. And obviously we're going to need to find some more water. We're going to need to find some more food. Do we actually now have a bedroll? Does it just, just say bedroll? But we don't actually have one. So I assume we're going to find one. Probably in the gas station, but right now I can sleep. So I'm just going to sleep for now just to test it. Make sure it works. All is good. So, yes, what we will do in the start of the next video then, we shall do these two objectives. We will try and fill the Grey Mother's uh, wood bin, uh, which should be fairly straightforward. I don't see that being a particular problem. And then we'll head down to the gas station. We'll probably head to the gas station and see what we can pick up on the way uh, to fill the bed, uh, fill the bin, see if we can do both of those. But that is going to be it for episode or part two of the uh, Winterview episode 1 playthrough. So thank you so much as always for joining me. Remember to hit that subscribe button which is going to be down there below. And uh, over on that side is uh, a couple of links to the playlist for this series and also for my um, uh, playing the long game survival mode playthrough which is going on at the moment. That actually started recording before the December update so uh, it's a little bit behind the curve at the minute but it's going to catch up. Don't worry about that. So we have two playthroughs going on at the moment. It's all going to be quite cool in the long dark. Uh, I also have some tutorials in the works. They're going to be with you very soon as well with the December update. I've just had to rewrite them. But uh, yes, yeah, thank you very much for joining me as always and I shall see you again very, very soon. <laughs>